Hi guys. I want to talk a little bit about um, some YouTubers that are talking about their expenses and how they overspent and are house poor and such and such. And I think I talked about this stuff, but I didn't know if I loaded it. I'm also feeling like crap today. I'm trying to decide if I have C. diff from all the antibiotics I took, which would be very bad. Or if I have IBS. They won't give me the IBS medicine because if I have C. diff, that would be bad. So yeah, I look as crappy as I feel. So anyhow, I think I told you about the first marriage. My first husband made four twenty-five an hour. And um, every time he got a raise, he would put it away. As if we didn't have it, we tried to live on that money. Until we couldn't, we started a business. So we had a business. So we used our business money, not all of it, but some of it to supplement when rent came, went, went higher and um, when uh, we were in apartments. So I don't think we had to pay like the power or anything like that. But if anything, we were paying on a car. So we um, were like trying to pay off the car quicker. I didn't know anything about Dave Ramsey. I know they're talking about Dave Ramsey. A lot of people do. I don't know who he is. I mean, I've seen him while I was while well, I've been on YouTube, but I didn't know about him. But anyhow, um, we we never got into trouble financially. Never had any shutoffs. Nothing. And I guess the reason is because I grew up poor. Like I said, my mom always said our furnace was broken. I know it wasn't. It was always shut off in the winter. And no, mine is not shut off. My house is cold. I know. I keep telling you. So anyhow. I wanted to help you guys to understand how not to live house poor and not to live above your means, which I never did. It would be quite easy coming from poverty the way I lived. I had to eat dirt sometimes. Um, and, you know, all of a sudden you get a business and we made a lot of money. You know, I mean, not, not, we weren't rich by any means, but it was enough that I could help my mom. I helped her with her bills. I helped her with when she needed a new stove or fridge, whatever. I helped her out with whatever she needed. And, you know, I paid her, paid her bills and when she needed help and bought her groceries and everything. But we put money away. That was my, my main thing. I had to have money in the bank because it made me crazy if I was not having the security. So, anyhow. Um, so, fast forward. I was pregnant with my... No, he was already born. No, he was pregnant. Yeah, I was pregnant with our, our fifth child. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me figure this out. So I was pregnant with our fifth child, and we decided to build a house. So what we did is I called my lawyer and um, asked with our finances, he knew our finances, if he thought it would be a good idea to rent out the house we live in to buy a house because I was able to, we, we saved and saved and saved for uh, uh, our forever house. And that would be our forever house. At this point, I had already bought a house when I was 18. Then I bought another house right after that. Um, and then we were going to build a house. So, um, he said, yeah, that would be a good idea. So we, um, we started the building process, which I don't want to get into that because of my stomach. It will just upset it more. But anyhow, so long story short, we were very good financially. We had no, we had charge cards, but we didn't have any, you know, bills. They were just there if we needed them. And we had a business, so we had a business card. So anyhow, we started the process of building our house. And as we were building the house, I kept saying, I'd taken videos when they break the ground and all that. And I kept saying in the video, I don't think this is going to be ours. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm finally getting my own house and building or whatever. So fast forward, we rented out our house to um, a woman and her father. Um, got, you know, that was, I think, halfway through whatever. There's going to be many videos from this one because my husband leaves at some point during all this crap too. But that will be another video. So anyhow, everything was set. We had a contract with our renters. The house was going good. Um, and I'll tell you more about the house, which turned into the FBI because of our renter. And I don't even know if I told you about this. And me being allergic and all that. But anyhow, the point is a financial point. So we were ready. We went to closing. Um, no, it was the day before closing, and I got a letter from my letter. I got a call from my lawyer that my tenant, um, the deposit, security deposit, first and last month's rent was a bad check. And, um, oh, it was on our way to closing, I believe. I don't know, closing a day before. Who knows? I don't remember long ago. Anyhow, so we went to closing, closed on this house, and then he told me. Let's just say he told me then. So I'm like, oh my gosh, now we have two houses to pay. But actually, we, we wouldn't, we could, you know, go after her. Well, number one, she she wrote bad checks, three of them. 
So anyhow, I called her up and I said, you know, you've written bad checks. I tried to talk with her. She went crazy on the phone with me. I was pregnant with our fifth child, as I said. So anyhow, long story short, she, um, she was a scammer. So it turned out good that that happened, good and bad. Um, good because I'll tell you further along the story because I'm going to try to download this at my house. But I'm going to tell you the part of the story, what happened. It was good that I ended up keeping my house. The bad part was we had to pay two mortgages. Actually, three. But, um, but we were able to do what we did because we never lived above our means. And that's real important. That's why it's really hard for me when I had enough courage swallowed my pride because I'm a very proud person to put up this GoFundMe. I've never been in a situation where I don't have money. Something happened in 2016 that destroyed my life, pulled the rug out from under me. Again, you know, I, I do these videos ahead of time and I don't know if I put them out there. But I didn't feel so crappy. I would have gone through some of my videos. But anyhow, that's why now I am I am literally in dire straits. And um, someone, I had another troll, of course, it was horrifying. <sighs> got rid of them but anyhow it was uh, an attack on me <sighs> which makes it worse because it's an attack on me I, I'm not even going to talk about it anyhow so that's why it took a lot for me to put up the GoFundMe because I really do need the help I need the help there's no, no other way I can't, I, I've done everything I'm not going to repeat what I said already I've done everything I need to do these things to correct the error that was done no you can't sue the dentist dentists have lawyers and all that and it just doesn't work I can't, I can't do anything. I've tried everything. So, yes, I have care credit, but they only give you so much credit. And I can only pay so much a month on it. And that's sad. You know, what what can I do? Go in and charge it up to the hilt, which I did. And I paid off half of it and charge it and then don't pay it. I'm not that type of person, but they didn't give me a big line of credit. So, anyhow, that's the reason I had to do it because I have to eat. I can't go on like this. I mean, the stomach... I'm going to the doctor in, I don't know, three, four weeks. He'll probably say, well, you're not eating. It could be from that. If it's not anything worse, I hope it's not C. diff because I'll end up in the hospital. What will happen to Polly? I don't know. But anyhow, so I just want to let you know, I didn't just put it up there on a whim. I did it because I really need the help. I just, I don't know how much longer I can go on just living on whatever. I had a little bit of that shredded or shaved turkey the other day. And I don't know if I got sick from that, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I feel like crap. I feel awful. But please keep praying for Miss Phyllis. I put up a thing. I don't remember the video. I don't even remember what the video is. I, I put a short one. But I just wanted to put up. I don't know if I'll be able to put them up. I don't know if I will blow this. I feel like crap. I really do. I'm literally on the toilet all the time. Not now. Don't worry. I'm not sitting on the toilet. But I just wanted you to know. I would never put up a, a GoFundMe. Unless it was very, very, very needed. And it is. So, I don't want to come out and ask G if everyone can give, I guess it's $5 minimum, if everyone can give me in the count $5, it would be great. But I'm, I'm not I'm not going to stoop that low. If people don't want to give, they don't want to give. But that's the reason I gave, because I always was good with money and never lived above my means. I don't have any new clothes. I don't have any new anything. I just live my life being a mom, you know, doing stuff for my kids. If we couldn't afford it, couldn't get it. They know that if it wasn't on sale, we didn't buy it. So anyhow, that's that kind of a rant at the end, but I'll talk more about finances when I feel better and the debacle of my house and my other house, the new house and the old house and the people who are renting from the other house who couldn't rent from the uh, first house. So anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay it forward. It feels good in your heart, my heart, and Polly's heart. And I'm sorry for the person who, who had to attack me about the way I talk. I talk this way. Because of the problem is the dentist did. So if you'd like to, this doesn't go to anyone but that troll. If you'd like to put some money in the GoFundMe, then maybe I could talk a little better because it bothers you. Okay. Yeah, I know. I fed the troll. I'm sorry. But anyhow, I can't even smile. I'm so sick to my stomach. But I, I don't think this will be able to load in my house. But I'll try stuff for now. Bye, everyone. Sorry. I can't smile. I'm so sick. Please keep praying for Miss Phyllis. We love you all. Bye.